I think they had to. I mean, you would have had you would have had absolute chaos this week if they hadn't done something big to back the deposits. And you gave into this weird sort of debate about you know really like the operational realities of the monetary system to some degree because banks, what banks really do, and you know, I mentioned this at the very beginning of the interview, where like banks deposits are real money. They're not just you know credit or like the, a fake version of dollars. They are for all practical purposes. They are real dollars. And so it's kind of crazy that like we have this two tiered banking system where like people are able to convert their deposits into a physical dollar and the physical dollar has no risk of ever being worth zero. You know, it may be def or inflated away in value, but like in nominal terms, you know, a $1 bill is always a $1 bill. Whereas, you know, there's this weird thing where in the banking system, your $1 of deposits might not actually be worth $1, even though for all practical purposes, these two things are exactly the same. A dollar is exactly the same thing as a deposit in terms of, you know, the, the utility of the thing inside the real economy. And so in terms of FDIC insurance, like, I almost think that the government as just a, a responsibility for having what they've done is they've outsourced money creation to banks 